Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Lots of people at this time of year, Christmas season and whatnot, and going into a new year, looking at deals and sales on new cameras. And uh, as your camera ages, if you've been using the same camera for a bit, got a lot of shutter count on it, a higher shutter count, lots of clicks on it, you might be thinking about, you know, when is it time to replace that camera? What At what point, like, like for instance with a car, we have to make that decision. At what point do the repair costs or the possibility of a breakdown become more of a problem than or, or do they outweigh the cost of a new vehicle which alleviates that stuff? Same type of thing with a camera. You can maybe not ex ex the exact same thing, different problems, but same type of thinking as far as, you know, how long is my camera going to last if I'm getting into a very high shutter count or if it's just getting that old uh, you're starting to worry it's going to break. You might have a big trip and you don't want to risk that. We have a viewer uh, writing in here. And this is Shohel. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Hi, I have a Canon 5D Mark III. And now my shutter count is 2,568. Should I sell it? It's still working very well, but I am confused about it. So for a Canon 5D Mark III... That's a fairly high shutter count, certainly by no means the highest I've seen people put on a Mark III, um, but especially if you're not a professional, that's, that's certainly getting up there. Uh, and if you're not a professional, you don't have a backup body, I could see why that might start to worry you. Pros usually, or, or should always, be working with a pair of bodies, a backup body on hand. The old Navy SEAL philosophy, one is none, uh, actually I started that wrong. <laughs> Two is one and one is none. Basically what that means is if you have two and one fails, you still got one. If you have one and it fails, you got nothing. And that is why as a working professional, you kind of have a responsibility. You do have a responsibility to your clients to have backup gear. It also is much nicer to be shooting with a pair of bodies with different lenses on them. It makes for not having to stop and change lenses and you can facilitate more shots quickly, faster um, than if you're just using one body. Anyways, 5D Mark III with 200,000, uh, 200,568, it is getting to be a higher shutter count. Uh, I would have a look at the body. What type of shape is it in? Is it start like, you know, are you hard on your gear? Is it starting to look used and abused? Have other things broke on the camera? Has anything else failed? Have you had to fix anything? Have you had to do the shutter before now? Uh, these are all things I would look at and consider when I'm trying to determine if at that point I need to replace the camera. If the camera's still working very well, uh, like you say, it's still working very well, but you're confused, uh, then it becomes more a question of you trying to decide a balance between what your comfort level is. Uh, if you've got, you know, as I mentioned before, trips coming up or important shoots coming up and this is your only camera, maybe now is the time to unload this for the best money you can get on the market used and invest in either another 5D Mark III at a good price on sale or a refurb, or something newer, maybe a Mark IV, or you want a 6D Mark II. Um, gives you the opportunity to, to look at even other systems if you're interested. A lot of people like the Sony stuff. Um, just depends. Uh, but that is something that you kind of have to weigh out for your comfort level. Yes, it's a higher shutter count. Some people wouldn't have a problem with that. They'd shoot it until it failed. Other people that would be getting outside of their comfort zone and they wouldn't want to miss pictures or as I said, if you're on a trip, so they would sell it or they would replace it, somehow get into a new camera or a newer camera with a lower shutter count um, to alleviate the concern of failure and missing photos or important photos. Only you can determine that. Um, and so I, I would consider these things we've discussed and then weigh that against you know, how comfortable are you? Are you shooting stuff that's very important not to lose? In which case, maybe it's time to um, upgrade or to replace. Uh, if most of the stuff you shoot, you think about it and you're like, yeah, it's, it's not a big deal if I miss that shot, um, then maybe you're comfortable staying with that camera for a while. Maybe you want to send it into Canon and see what they say. Maybe you want the shutter replaced, uh, even though it hasn't failed yet. Uh, bear in mind, you start spending money like that for a shutter replacement or other things on the camera, what's going to fail next there's other things that can fail on the camera as well and maybe it's a better time to invest in a newer body more advanced tech maybe higher megapixels all the different advantages that newer stuff brings with it but again only you can decide that 
What do you guys think? I'm going to throw it back out to you, as I always do. Um, is that too high a shutter count? What would you do in that situation? Canon 5D Mark III, shutter count of 200,568. Would you replace it? He says it's still working well, but obviously he's have some concerns. Is that too much for you? Is it time to replace? Or would you just keep shooting? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, what would you do and why? What's your reasoning on when to replace? How far or how long do you keep something and keep using it? Um, what's your thoughts? Uh, let's help him out and figure out help him figure out what he wants to do here uh, to reassure him for his own comfort. And uh, thanks for your question, Shohel. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.